In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to connect Oracle database with Java. So there I am going to use your IntelliJ IDEA. And first we need to create new project. So here, let's give meaningful name Java con underscore Oracle. So automatically ZDK22 that's taken. If I go on this command prompt, right there Java minus minus version. Then you can see I have Java 22. In your case it can be different. So Java 22 that's taken. After that click on this create. <coughs> so project is now uh, creating. And uh, let's uh, test the code first. So clicking on this run. So here you can see according to given code that returning the output. The next is here you can see I'm using Oracle 23 AI to connect with the Java. So this place you can see here all the details. So this all details you can get here, SID, so service name, uh, then user and this all you can get here. The next is in Google search box, right there JDBC driver, click on this oracle.com site. So there you can get Oracle database 23 AI, JDBC. So if you are using this, Jar fan. So this is available for ZDK 11, 17, 19, 21. This is ZDK 8, 11. Okay, so let's click on this OZ DBC driver. So this you need to click. The file is downloaded, completed. The next is here. So going to copy this code. going to copy this code and pasting inside main method paste there then there are so many red mark is there so first here we need to add the ZDBC or OZDBC driver inside the IntelliJ IDEA so for this one let's go on this setting here project structure then go on this module and uh, dependency that selected click on this plus ZAR directories from there you need to select so this I just downloaded so this is a download section OZ DBC driver you need to select click on this OK so this added here after that click on this OK so there are so many errors that come after that, the next is here we need to import some packages. So import Java dot SQL. So giving a star connection you can give, but let's give here a star. So there are so many things that's gone. So here cannot find import classes. So let's import here. So this added. So this is now related with the exception. Add the exception. So exception that's added. Now this all looking fine. After that, the next is here you can see. So this is Oracle data source. This is a class that's created object ODS. Now this here ODS set URL. So here local host local system that i'm using if you are using uh, any online services then you can give the ip address 1521 is here uh, that is uh, port number 3 pdb1 so since i'm using oracle 23 ai so service name is 3 pdb1 if you are using oracle 11g then you can give here orcl for express addition xc and here you can also check your port number 
After that, username you can give and then after whatever the query that you want to execute, you should give inside there. Result, so whatever the statement that execute that is trying to result, while result, so that one by one find the values and according to that, that print the values. So result, get a string index of one and index of two, the value that display. So let's save that and now click on this run. So here you can see, so according to given uh, code, that's returning the output. So Java XC that font there and uh, here cross find OJDBC also that find there. So this is OJDBC that also found there in the download section. Now you can select uh, other tables too. Let's use your departments. Now simply you need to click on this run. So only two columns that's displaying there of the departments, department ID and the name. Okay, so this is the most uh, simplest way we can connect Oracle with Oracle with Java. Okay, using IntelliJ IDEA. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.